A, bl a plank with a box on it at one end is gradually raised about the other end as the angle of inclination with the horizontal reaches 30 degrees. So this theta becomes 30 degree. Uh, the box starts to slip and slides 4 meter down the plank in 4 seconds. The coefficient of static and kinetic friction with the box in the plank will be. Okay, so we have mg and we have this is the normal and now it reaches 30 degree it starts slipping so therefore friction is going to be in this direction and at 30 degree it was limiting friction so here we have mg so this is theta so this is 90 minus theta this is theta so mg gets resolved as mg sine theta and here as mg cos theta so therefore we can write now n is equal to mg cos theta and friction is equal to mg sin theta now when it's kind of limiting that time f is equal to mu s n so therefore mg sin theta is equal to mu s into mg cos theta gone gone so therefore mu s becomes tan theta okay so tan theta so tan of 30 degree which is 1 by root 3 okay so now what is 1 by root 3 so definitely 1 by root 3 is it's actually 1 divided by 1.7 types something okay so we have uh, uh, 1 divided by oh, sorry 1.7 and 1 so 10 point so we have uh, 6 almost so 6 into 7 is uh, 42 to 4 so 10 point 2 so almost it's 0 point uh, 6 okay so 0 point 6 is the uh, static friction now we have uh, it's, it's sliding down uh, 4 meter down the plank in 4 seconds okay so therefore we have s is equal to 4 meter time taken is 4 seconds okay initial velocity is 0 now what is acceleration so now once it starts sliding there is coefficient of kinetic friction which is going to act so therefore in this direction it's going to be mu k into n and n was like so this is mg cos theta and this is mg sin theta so therefore we have uh, the acceleration as mg sin theta minus mu k mu k n mg cos theta divided by m gone 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 okay now we can find acceleration from this uh, from this one s equals ut plus half at a square so 4 is equal to u 0 half into a into t square 4 into 4 gone gone and this is so a is actually 0 0.5 okay so now uh, we have g sin theta okay so 10 into sin theta 1 by 2 minus mu k into 10 into root 3 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5 this is 5 so therefore mu k is going to be uh, 4.5 into 2 divided by 10 root 3 so this is 9 divided by 10 root 3 okay so this is point 0.9 divided by root 3 
so 1.7 divided by 0 0.9 so we do point okay, or 17 divided by 9 so we do point so it becomes 0 so 17 fives are 85 5 0 so point 0.5 3 okay so therefore the best suited answer is going to be a 0 0.6 and 0 0.5 one more thing is that as we see you know like uh, the first thing itself we made we calculated the static friction coefficient to be 0 0.6 now obviously if the sliding is happening okay that means kinetic friction is going to act if suppose the static friction and the kinetic friction had the same coefficient then it would ha just have been limiting case okay and there would no there would not have been any acceleration because uh, we had already seen you know f is equal to mg sin theta so there is going to be no net force along the incline so therefore this you know the uh, when the box is sliding the friction has to be less than mg sin theta then only acceleration will be there so therefore the mu k has to be less so just by seeing we can see that 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.6 no otherwise acceleration will not be there it has to be 0. Point. thank you